So hello everyone, happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs and we are out for an adventure. So we are starting today in St. Pete at Mazzaro's Italian Market. We're gonna do some shopping for cheat day and check this out, it's been on our list. It looks like it's very popular, so I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog inside, depends on how busy it is, but we're gonna go check it out. And before we go in, Here's our footage from the drive here. Whoa! <laughs> so we are on the brand new Selman Expressway Gandhi connector. I don't know what they're actually calling it, but it just opened on Monday. Connects to go over to St. Pete, so you don't have to take Gandhi and go through a bunch of red lights. But look how cool it is. What a weird design. It's really unique. I think it's the first road that has this. That they I think I read something like that, that has this kind of like it's suspended from the center. It's yeah. Like a backwards bridge. Yeah, it's weird. So Gandhi's underneath us right now. So we're going over top of it. But that way, before you had to get off and just go through the entire red lights. And I don't even know how long it would take, but it wouldn't even tell you to go this direction because it was so much longer. But now we have this. So we're on a little adventure. Thought we'd take it. It looks neat. Ooh. Whoa. There's the water. Oh yeah, we're getting close to the, the bridge. Oh yeah, this is, I don't think I've ever done the Gandhi direction, but uh, I can already tell that was a lot better than <laughs> what it would have been. There's the water. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was, that was great. Yeah, I gotta assume that's a whole lot better. <laughs> I assume so. Hello, Tampa Bay. Airport's over there. We're starting off at their houseware store because they have that. It's like a whole Italian complex here. Let's check it out. That's a neat little gift store. There you go. There you go. Bada bing. There's the sign. We're giving a loop. We're going in. Right into the olive bar. We found the cheese room. Oh man. All the choices. I mean, at this point, I might as well be at a theme park, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're getting our cookies. Okay, we survived. We did it. We got a bunch of stuff. We have so much stuff. But first of all, we got sandwiches. So we're going to go find a nice picnic spot. They actually have quite a few areas where you can eat here and a lot of outdoor picnic areas plenty of distance between you and other people but we have beautiful water views on our way back home so we're gonna go find a water view and have a little picnic in our car with some of our sandwiches and we got some mac salad and italian cookies lots of different pasta salads we got pasta for dinner tonight it's just gonna be a full italian carb fun day <laughs> pretty heavy current by the looks of it we are Pulled into a little spot. It's a little mangrovey, but uh, high tide is up. So <laughs> we only have so many options because there's places like this where the water's right there. So we're gonna enjoy our sandwiches from this little spot. Mike got the hot Italian. Looks good. And I got the cold Italian. Oh man, that looks good. All right, we are heading back home now with our goods. I brought a cooler, so we've got everything in the cooler. My sandwich was fantastic. Yours? Also fantastic. Yes, so good. I just loved it. Whatever the Italian slaw that they had on top of mine, so delicious. And Mike's was quite good as well. His got a little soggy, but we knew that was gonna happen. We took the chance. There's plenty of spaces to eat there, but we wanted to go by the water, so he was okay with it. Right. Yeah, still tastes delicious. And then we tried a 
I'll show you a haul when we get home so you can see all the stuff we got. But we tried a raspberry filled, what do they call those cookies? Which? The raspberry filled. They're just usually jelly cookies. Oh yeah, jelly cookie, that's, that's the word I was looking for. We tried a raspberry jelly cookie, super good. And then they had my absolute favorite, which is the rainbow cookies. Best rainbow cookie I've ever had. I'll show you, yeah. Best one you've had probably since New York. Yeah, for sure, yeah. And I didn't know they existed until I started dating Mike, and they're one of my favorite things ever now, and that was the best one I've ever had. So good. I'll show you when we get home. We got a lot of other things to try. We got pasta to make for dinner tonight. Oh, fun, fun, fun. So back home we go. The Gandhi connector thingy my mom. It's neat. So here's our haul. We got some pesto pasta salad, some Italian pasta salad, some tuna kusabi. So it's tuna with wasabi and cucumbers, mac salad, of course. We got some roasted red peppers and some hoagie spread. A nice dried sausage, some cheeses, and fresh pulled mozz, so they do in store. We got some dipping spices, like what you get at Carrabba's. Yum. Put some oil with that. Delicious. We got some fresh fettuccine and fresh, how do you say that, babe? Cacio di pepe? Cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. Ravioli. We're going to make those for dinner tonight. We got some carbonara to go with the fettuccine. Just some regular pasta for another night. And then the desserts. There's the rainbow cookies, the raspberry cookies and an Italian rum cake, and a cannoli cake. Oh yeah, when I said carbs, I meant it. So, gonna be a big day. <laughs> so I'm gonna sample these before I put them away. I'm gonna make that for dinner later tonight and enjoy all the desserts. So I got my summer shipment of wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. So I had to get all our summer scents. So they had a bunch of new ones. A lot of these I haven't smelled before, but as you'll see, I really like beachy scents for summer. We're in Florida after all, I'm from Florida. I just love the smell of the beach. So we got sea salt and lime. Limoncello I get almost all the time for the kitchen. I really like this one in the kitchen. Cozy linen, seemed like a nice scent to have around. Sunshine Mimosa is new. There's Eucalyptus Rain, Warm Ocean Breeze. Caribbean Escape, Endless Weekend, Coconut Lime Breeze, and Waikiki Beach Coconut. I'm a little mad at myself for not getting more Tiki Beach because that's my favorite, but there we have it. So I'll let you know what I think when I actually open these when it's time to refill our wallflowers. All right, I'm about to make dinner over here. So we've got our raviolis and our fettuccine. I've got the carbonara heating up and we're gonna make a butter sauce to go with the raviolis. Very exciting, hopefully I don't mess it up. Not used to using fresh pasta. Here's our pasta dinner. We've got some fettuccine carbonara and our cacio e pepe ravioli with a butter sauce. Yum, smells delicious. That was by far the best ravioli I've ever had in my life. It was so good. The fettuccine was good too, the carbonara was very good, but that ravioli on another level just so delicious the best carby cheat day ever so 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 good i'm so glad we went it was very fun we still have the cakes um we still have a lot of cookies and stuff but that michael eat over the course of the week but we still have the cakes to try tonight so cheat day's not quite over still have a little bit of cake to eat there's no way we're eating the whole thing not gonna happen but I'm gonna at least have some bites of it. So it was a good day. All right, I'm watching the Nickelodeon documentary. I'm excited for it. Oh, all my favorite shows. Yes, 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 yes. I'm excited for this. My fave. Preteen space. 
that yes I love this show so much here is the end of cheat day we have cannoli cake and Italian rum cake I like cannolis <laughs> You're making it hard for me to plan, Foster. <laughs> I'm trying to do my planner. And he's like, no, you will snuggle with me now. You don't need to write. You just snuggle with me instead. <laughs> You're so cute. But I need my hand, Bean. I need my hand. <laughs> oh, I barely caught the cuteness. He's like, no, mom, don't film this. Oh, you were being so cute, though. I missed it. Too late. <laughs> Groggy boy. Well, it's Sunday evening. Mike had leftover lasagna, and I am having a Quest pizza. This is a low carb pizza. It's not super low carb. It's, I think, 15 carbs for the whole thing. Is that right? Did I figure that out right? Yes, 15 carbs for the whole pizza. Five carbs for a third of the pizza, which is what they want you to eat. And no, I probably won't eat the whole thing because I'll probably give a slice to Mike. But otherwise, I'm going to have it because all I had earlier today was a wasa cracker and some cheese. So this is my dinner for tonight. So hello, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm in the office getting some work done. But I had two things I wanted to discuss. First of all, my new boost packets arrived. I don't know that I talked about it in the vlog, but they had a new flavor of the boost drinks that I've been using, the powder drinks that have all the vitamins. This is not sponsored. This is just <laughs> me trying new products and sharing them with you guys. They had a strawberry guava and I tried it today and I'm a big fan. I would say my favorites are the pina colada, then the cloud nine, and then this one. It's very good. Mostly strawberry, very little guava. I like guava, so I would have liked more guava, but I'm enjoying the strawberry. So that was the first thing. The second thing is that I want to finally announce a date for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway slash trivia slash live show hangout extravaganza thingamabob. <laughs> Whatever we're gonna do. So I am planning it for May 15th. That's Saturday, May 15th. So at noon, on Saturday, May 15th, noon Florida time. We're going to have a live show. I'm going to get trivia together. I'm going to have giveaways. We're going to hang out. So that gives me enough time to put together trivia because I need to get that all going and figure out whatever game I'm going to do and get my extra items, like I said before. If you're outside of the US, I'm going to have a couple gift cards that you guys can win. If you're in the US, I'm going to have a couple prize packages that I've had set aside for you guys to win. The sun's doing all sorts of crazy things. Right, I'm gonna do a few prizes for the trivia, like a first, second, third for the trivia. The trivia is gonna be about my channel and the past 10 years of my videos on YouTube. So if you're a vet or if you're like really paying attention to the videos, I know some of you have like crazy memories as far as things that I would never expect anyone to remember. And I'm like, wow, you guys are impressive. So for those people, there's gonna be a first, second, third for the trivia. And then I'll probably do a few giveaways just for people who are there in attendance. So if you don't know all the trivia, if you're new to my channel, so you also have an opportunity to win some prizes as my thank you to you guys for helping me get to 5,000 subscribers and for watching the videos and hanging out. Okay, I was filming that and then the wedding dress lady called me back. I have my first fitting scheduled now for May the 4th appropriate may the fourth be with me <laughs> try on my dress but anyway so i have no idea what i was saying when i signed off may 15th at noon live show trivia giveaways plan to be there let's have some fun and hang out together and chat and just have a good time so i'll announce it again i'll put it on social media but this is your first your first warning that it's coming up and uh come win some prizes tonight's dinner Publix lemon pepper wings, yum. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It is time for my second dose of the COVID vaccine. I am getting ready to head out. Foster just let himself into the office. He's gonna supervise. You're gonna supervise. Keep the office in check while I'm gone. Make sure nothing happens while I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> so I am much more calm this time. Last time I was very nervous about 
the process. Now I know the process, so I have been completely calm this morning. I'm ready to go get this done, and then we'll see how the day goes, and we'll see if my body is one of those that has like a crazy immune response. So yeah, time to go get this shot. Be two weeks away from being fully vaccinated, and I'm ready for it. So we'll see how today goes. Last time I had a sore arm, and then you guys know that I had some joint pain in my back and my shoulder. Not sure if related to working out or if it was related to the shot or both. We'll see what happens this time. Fingers crossed for only mild stuff. I've known people that have had both sides, people that have been kind of taken down because their immune response was pretty strong. Other people, sore arm, a little bit of fatigue, back to normal. So really can go either way, just depending on your own body and how your own body reacts to the message that the vaccine is sending it. So ready to go take it because no matter what, a couple days of feeling icky from a vaccine, definitely a lot better than getting COVID. So let's go get this done. All right, we're here for round two. Or I'm here for round two. Time to get that second shot. Yep, looks easy peasy just like last time. So yep, pulling forward. Next up. Second vaccine is done. So I have my vaccine card. Two more weeks and I will be officially fully vaccinated. It was just as smooth this time as last time. The nurse I had was really nice. <laughs> she made sure I sat in the right position for my arm to try to not have my arm be sore. So we'll see if her method works compared to last time. Cause I got it in my left arm, so I had to twist. And last time I did have my arm in a different position. So maybe she's onto something. <laughs> we shall see as the, uh, the day progresses. She's like, I didn't want you cussing me out at home <laughs> for me not knowing what I'm doing. So she was nice. So yep, I have my card. I didn't get a sticker this time, but I have my card and now we're just in the line waiting to be released. 15 minute observation, even though didn't have a reaction the first time and it's the same exact shot. So not concerned about having a reaction this time because I would have already had it on the first one, but vaccinated, <laughs> right? I did this and then like, as I turned off the camera, Mike was like, he's not gonna do it now. He's gonna troll me. He's gonna leave me hanging. Thumbs up for vaccine. Oh, baby thumb. <laughs> Thumbs up for vaccination. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so hello, happy Tuesday. It's later in the day. It's about four o'clock now. I've been working through the day. I'm trying to get two grants in today so that if I do start having symptoms that these two grants are done and submitted because they're due Friday. So just in case something happens, I wanna have them done today and submitted so that so if I'm not feeling good tomorrow or Thursday, I don't have to stress, it's in, the deadline's met. So I'm waiting on a couple details from my boss and then I'm gonna submit those two grants and those will be done and I'll probably be done for the day because that was a lot. <laughs> so. So far, I'm feeling fine. My arm feels better than the last time. Last time, my arm was sore pretty much right away. And like I said, this nurse was very specific in how she wanted me to sit to make sure that my arm was nice and relaxed, which the last lady didn't do. So fingers crossed, maybe the arm won't be as sore this time, which last time it only lasted the first day. The next day I was already like barely sore. So the first day was the worst of it last time. We'll see, but so far, feels fine. I actually felt more normal this time immediately after. Again, could have just been the nurse and how she administered the shot, but I'll keep you guys updated as time goes on. I've just been working, working, working today. Like I said, trying to get those two grants in. I submitted one yesterday, trying to get two in today so that the rest of the week I can just kind of coast through if I need to. So that's where I'm at. I've also been reading this again. So I am almost through, this one's kind of in three sections. I'm almost through the first section. I'm 100% invested into it now. The first book I enjoyed, I was intrigued by it. This one, I'm flying through it because I'm super into it now. So 
trying to get through this. Travis has been done with Chamber of Secrets for I think two weeks now because he read it in basically a day. So I'm trying to catch up so that we can have one of these chats maybe early May and then hopefully I can take book three on my future adventures that are coming up in May. Anyway, I just figured I'm on a little work break waiting to hear from my boss. I'm about to watch Happiest Vlogs, Jen and Scott's first vlog with Gia on their trip to Disney back in February. So I'm gonna watch that on my little work break and wait to hear back from my boss. And then I think I'm gonna make us dinner tonight again. That way I had tonight as a pickup night for dinner, but with how I'm feeling now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner tonight and then leave the pickup for tomorrow night just in case because I'm feeling fine right now. So that's your Tuesday update so far. Okay, so it's about 6 p.m. now. I submitted the two grants, so they are done. That's off my mind. Can be peacefully minded now for the rest of the week. So now it's time to make dinner. Tonight I am going to make keto cheeseburger soup. I've never made this before. It's a new one. I'll put the recipe down below as usual. We will see how this one turns out. I'm going to sub cauliflower for radishes because that turned out really good last time. And uh, let's do it. So that's what it's supposed to look like when it's done. However, ours will not have tomatoes on it because we don't do tomatoes, but let's make it. There it is all garnished with some cheese and some pickles and some bacon on top. I think it's actually gonna be really good. I'll give you a review once we're done. Over 24 hours since I got my shot. It's been about 27 hours since I got my vaccine. So far, things are fine. I woke up in the middle of the night and possibly had a very, very low grade fever. Don't know for sure. I didn't take my temperature because it was like 3.30 in the morning. I just got up and took Tylenol because my face was on fire, but the rest of my body was cold. So I was like, mm, this is probably a fever. I could have just slept away from the fan for a while, <laughs> but it's probably a fever. So if so, it was super low grade, not enough to be positive. So I just got up, took some Tylenol, went back to bed and was fine. So far today, I feel fine. The only thing I have that is different than last time is, <laughs> You can see where I got the shot. There's no doubt about that. So yeah, the area where I got the shot is pissed. Um, it's a little swollen, a little raised up, but my arm isn't sore this time. So last time, the day I got the shot, I could barely move this arm. It was so sore and I couldn't sleep on it or anything. It is only sore to touch and it's just, you know, a little, a little pissed off. It's swollen, it's raised up. No big deal, but yeah, you can definitely see <laughs> where I got the shot. So far, I feel fine. Obviously, there's still time for effects to come into play because it just depends on the immune system. So not saying I'm out of the woods yet, but so far I've been fine. So far, I've actually felt better this time than the first shot. We'll see, fingers crossed. So yeah, we'll see how long it takes for that to uh, go back to normal. But so I finished the grants I had on my list for this week. So I'm gonna look and see what else I can do. I have my team meeting at four, but otherwise it's gonna be a pretty chill day because I don't have any deadlines that are pressing at the moment, but yeah, I like to get ahead of the game. So I'll probably just go ahead and start a few more grants that have farther deadlines, but get ahead of it. And then just in case, again, if I go down for the count tonight, I'm good to take the rest of the week off. So. That is my plan for the afternoon, but I want to give you guys um, an update on vaccine progress and how I'm feeling as it goes through. So that's where I'm at now. All right, tonight is a Moe's night. So I got the salad and Mike got a stack, which is basically the crunch wrap supreme, but Moe's style, it's going to be delicious. Very excited for it. So hello, it is now Wednesday evening and I wanted to give a vaccine update because now we're about 36 hours into this. 
So again, so far, the only thing I've had is this. <laughs> it's definitely gotten bigger since this morning. As you can tell, the redness is just kind of spreading out. Um, I took some Advil earlier. I'm probably gonna take some Tylenol before bed, but I mean, it's fine. It's just chilling there being angry. <laughs> During my work meeting today, one of my coworkers said she had the exact same thing, where the first time around she had really bad arm soreness, and then the second time she had essentially this. It's just a swollen lump. And she said it took about four or five days for it to go away for her, but that was all she had too. So if this is all I have, I will take the swollen pink lump <laughs> and be totally, totally okay with that. So. Just keeping you guys updated with everything as it goes along. Oh, look at these boys, look at these boys. Look at that cuteness. Hi mom, we're trying to sleep here. Can you leave us alone? <laughs> so I am going to do a little reading, watch a little TV and call it a night. So hello everyone, happy Thursday. I've got my assistant in the chair with me. Figured I'd give you a vaccine update so i am past the 48 hour mark and this is what i'm looking at i have a nice red welt but it feels better today than it did yesterday it doesn't feel as hot it's still very warm right at the center of it but it doesn't feel as swollen yesterday it was a pretty nice lump in there feels like it's already going down and i feel like it's kind of just spreading out and turning less red and more pink so so far I've had no other symptoms, so you know, there's still time, but I feel like I'm gonna come out okay with this and be one of the lucky ones that this is all I had. I didn't even have a sore arm this time. So I've been drinking a ton of water. I've been chugging tea and water. I drink a lot of tea during the day normally. I drink tea as my main beverage during the day, but I've been drinking my vitamin waters as well. Not the actual brand vitamin waters, but my built water, I've been drinking that just trying to stay hydrated as much as possible and I think I'm one of the lucky ones so fingers crossed it stays that way but so far so good so again I did so much of my work early in the week that I'm able to kind of chill for today and tomorrow there's an event happening with work tonight and tomorrow during the day so a lot of my coworkers are all busy working with that event so I'm kind of floating on my own for these two days and so I'm kind of on a holding pattern because one of the grants I was working on I know I'm gonna need my boss's assistance on getting documents and stuff and they are too busy preparing for the event tonight and tomorrow so I'm gonna go to the post office and mail my stitch fix and oh my goodness this dog please mom I want to go out I want to go sunbathe Life is so boring. You messed up the yard and then they still haven't come back to do anything. It's awful. So yes, let me give an update on that. <laughs> we don't have an update at the moment. We... Hi. They came to do an inspection on Friday. They had to spray termite spray on top and then we had another inspection on Tuesday. We haven't heard anything since then. So we reached out to our porch guy waiting to hear back. We're waiting. We're in a holding pattern. Hopefully they come to pour concrete soon. <laughs> I'm ready. We're ready. Please do it. So that's where we're at with that. I'm going to go mail that package. I think I'll take these guys for a walk first though. Let's, let's go. You want to go outside? That's a yes. Okay, I went to the PO and I came back with coffee. We had another package from Jennifer. So we have some new bones to try. We have strawberry cheesecake chocolate edition. We have Army of Dark Chocolate, which is definitely off of Army of Darkness. We have Paradise Pie, which I'm not really sure what that is. I'm gonna look it up to see what it actually tastes like. And then coconut rum, which I'm super excited for. And if we don't like their coconut rum, we've got another option because she got this brands, which we still need to open the UFO one and see how it is, but I love the packaging on their coffees. This artwork style is so cool. So there's our coffee stock for a while. And then she also sent a few t-shirts. This one is honestly my favorite. It's so soft. Purple's my favorite color. 
and fur mama. It's my Mother's Day shirt. <laughs> this one is also super, super, super cute. I love this color too. This is like probably my second favorite color right now. First would be this purple. Second would be this kind of rosy pink. I just love it. And the little Southwest design on the cactus. Super, super cute. And then we've got a cow print <laughs> cactus. <laughs> So those are the shirts and coffee from Jennifer. So thank you, Jennifer. I'm really looking forward to wearing this one just because it's so soft, like buttery soft. Love that. So these are super cute. And then I also got my Target shipment in the mail. So I got my double X cactus shirt. I'm gonna try that on, make sure it fits like it's supposed to. And in order to get this to ship, I had to buy more stuff because they would only ship this if you spent $35. So. I mean, if Target's gonna force me to shop, I'm gonna shop. So <laughs> I got some other cute t-shirts. It's time to kind of cycle through. I've got some old, old t-shirts that I just never wear anymore. So it's time to give those away to Goodwill and swap some new ones out. So I got this one, timely with my new MTV retro obsession. I got this one, cause how how could I resist a nice retro universal shirt with Jaws? And then they had an X-Files shirt. You never see X-Files shirts anymore. It says, I want to believe it's got the UFO, fits with my aliens, I love it. So this one's a little extra thick. I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna like it. Usually their shirts are this material where it's super soft and once you wash it, it's just great. This one is very thick. So I'm a little worried. We'll see if it washes softer than it is right now, but I'm kind of picky on my t-shirt textures and this one, I don't think it's going to cut it for me, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'll do a try on for these, make sure they fit, because I do still have to go to Target and return the original one of this and the shorts that didn't fit. So I was planning to do that early next week. Okay, here's the double XL in this. Look how much bigger it is. Look how like crazy that is of a size difference between the XL and the double XL. Like this is definitely much more comfy cozy, definitely more me to wear it big like this, but it's almost a little too big. Like now I'm considering do I keep the XL so when I lose a little more weight, I can still wear it because this is pretty, pretty big. And the other one was super tight and this one's pretty big. I don't know, what do you guys think? I've still got some time. I think this vlog will go up before I go to Target. So should I keep both or should I only keep this one? Comment down below, let me know what you think. Okay, so we actually got a Green Chef this week. They actually had some recipes that looked good and had decent net carbs. So I am going to make this Cajun blackened chicken for dinner tonight. It has some green beans and some squash. Looks pretty good. So let's get to making dinner. And there is the finished product. This one looks so good. I'm excited for it. Yum. So hello everyone. Happy Friday. It is the end of the week. It's been, it felt like a really long week. Uh, probably just because I worked so much at the beginning of the week and then haven't had much to do in the past few days and I haven't been working out. So the days have felt a lot longer. For my vaccine update, I am still totally fine. And my arm, <laughs> is pretty much back to normal. Obviously you can see I have a little bruise here. It's much less swollen, like barely any knot there anymore. So by the end of the weekend, I expect it to be fully gone. Definitely one of the lucky ones that really didn't have much in terms of reaction. So happy with that, thankful for it. The second work event is happening right now. I'm kind of looking over at my computer because it's happening uh, virtually of course, because 2021. So I am kind of keeping my eye on that, even though I wasn't involved in planning it really, I am still part of the team. So <laughs> kind of cheering from the sidelines. So I'm watching that go down. I need to go to Publix and get some items because we're having a friend gathering tomorrow to celebrate almost all of us being fully vaccinated. Kyle still has his second shot on Tuesday, but otherwise Mike, Brittany, Jordan, and I have all finished our shots. We just have to wait for the full two weeks to pass. So we're gonna have a friend gathering here tomorrow. Hi. Hello. Hi, troll. He was gonna come. He was gonna try to sneak in. He was gonna try to sneak the thumb. <laughs> but Ash gave you away. <laughs> Ash gave you away. Hi, mom. <laughs> Bye. Porch update. 
So we talked to our contractor today and they aren't pouring concrete until Wednesday. <laughs> we were waiting for them to pour concrete any day because the inspection happened Tuesday, but not happening until Wednesday. Okay, so tonight we decided to get Bubba Q's. I think I went to one in Orlando a long, long, long time ago, but Mike's never had it, so we're giving it a go. So it comes with two sides. So I got two meats. I got pork and ribs, and then I'm going to eat the collard greens. I got the baked beans so we could try it. Obviously, Mike's going to eat the toast. Mike got wings, fries, mac and cheese, pork and ribs as well. So I'll show you the ribs. We got a ton of sauces. As Mike said, they Taco Belled it and just threw a bunch in. And then we also got Bubba Nugs, which are corn nuggets. I can't enjoy them as much as I would like to because it's not cheat day, but I'm gonna have one and then maybe Mike will leave me some for cheat day tomorrow. We shall see how good they are. <laughs> but yeah, looks really good, smells good. Um, let me show you the pork and the ribs. I got the dry rub ribs because if you get the other ones, it's got the sauce all over it. And obviously I can't have too much of the sauce because of keto, but Mike got the sauced ribs and pulled pork. So there you go. These look delicious. I'm excited. Okay guys, so it's late Friday night. I just took the dogs out for their last trip, gave them their cheese, and now it's time for bed. I'm very excited because I was working on a very exciting project here at the very end of the night, and I'm gonna leave you in suspense, but exciting things are coming. Maybe I'll announce next week. We'll see. Maybe I'll keep you in suspense a little longer, but fun things are coming. And with that, I'm going to sign off and I will see you guys again next week.